welcome to another episode of Woodman Controls Web Training. Um, today we're going to talk about group trending. Uh, this is a, a little deeper dive into our uh, advanced histories uh, within a Niagara framework, a Woodman Controls programmed system. So this one's going to be pretty quick and easy, um, but on all Woodman Controls systems, uh, there's and really any Tritium Niagara system at all, you have the ability to build trends that show multiple trends of different pieces of equipment on one graph. Um, and most people know how to do this through using the Chart Builder, uh, which is really a pretty simple process, and we will make a really fast one right here. I'm sure most of you have already done this, so this will be relatively easy. But we're going to call this Zone Temp Compare. And we want this to last for seven days. And I've kind of pre-looked at this a little bit. And we are going to do a zone temp compare on these rims down here. So as you can see, and we've covered this in other videos, a very simple way to build a chart. You just double click, adds to the list, and then you build your chart. The part that most people aren't very used to is that from here, there's another feature uh, it's going to be a little hard to see on my screen here. Let me see if I can get it in there. Right here. Uh, so now that we see this trend, we can see all the parts and pieces in it. Now, let's just say, for example, this is a trend that we want to pull up regularly. So it could be your hot water supply temp versus outside air versus chilled water temp or some sort of building demand, some sort of uh, advanced analytic that you as the building operator or owner want to be able to see. So all we're going to do is hit this little save chart. And then in most of our systems, and, and really any of them, you can pick any file path you want, but uh, this location is on the JACE controller. This is not on your computer, so you're not going to see exactly the same, uh, the same file structure you normally would. Um, on a Woodman control systems, we try to make it a little bit easier, and we have one created that says user charts, so I'm going to use that for our example here. And in here, I'm just going to name our trend zone temp compare. Um, if you want to use good database standards, uh, use underscores instead of spaces. Uh, it has to use special characters uh, in order to make for the spaces, so it'll make it a little easier to read. So we're going to save that trend. Okay, I'm going to go back out to full screen size here. Now that I have that trend saved, we're going to back up and go back into our uh, just the home of our control system. Okay, so now we're back at our main screen. So we created that trend, we looked at it, and we're going to say now we're a week down the road and we want to be able to go look at that again. Uh, if you go to your history, just like we always did, there's a tab here for user charts. Some of the older systems may not have user charts. It might be a little bit more of a manual operation. Uh, feel free to give us a call and we can add it in if you'd like. Uh, but you'll just click user charts, and just like what we saved, it takes you directly to that page. And it's just as simple as double click, and there's your trend. So I hope that makes sense. It makes it really simple and easy way to do this stuff. Uh, you can get any kind of group histories you want. We get a lot of questions with people wanting to make special history charts, uh, and we typically do that for them, but we wanted to make this easier and everybody to understand how simple this is to do in their systems. Um, so I figured we'd put this uh, video training together to show you how to do it. Um, if you're done with it and you don't want to use it again, normal Windows functions, I can delete that trend right back out of there, and it's gone. So if you have any questions, feel free to give Woodman Controls a call. Otherwise, thank you for your time.